Hi guys, this is Zeus from A Soul Unsung, and this is in my mailbox. I had a pretty good week, um, got a lot of good things, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with them. Um, from Around the World Art Tours, I got shut out by Cody Keplinger. I've, so far what I've read of this is really, really funny. Um, it's about uh, this girl who's like really tired of her and fellow friends, uh, um, other players are really tired of, um, their boyfriend's, uh, rivalry between the football team and soccer team, and so to get back at them, they decide that they're not going to put out anymore, so it's pretty much boys versus girls in a race to see whose libido gives out first, and, uh, apparently there's some guy that Lissa, uh, never realized she would have some sort of sexual tension with, and, I guess Cash Sterling, so lots of crazy things in two. I also got um, an arc of Juliana Baggett's uh, debut novel, uh, Pure. It's the first novel in her dystopian trilogy, and it's signed, also signed, uh, as you can see there. I have read uh, the prologue and the um, first chapter, it's, there was a sneak peek of it, and it's actually really, really good, and um, I cannot wait to dig into this. Plus, look how fat that book is. I love that. I love fat books. Plus, the, um, I really, uh, from reading the first chapter and the prologue, it, uh, I, I now get the cover, and I get that now. It's really cool. I also got an arc of um, Ari Burke's uh, Death Watch. It's the first book in the Undertaker trilogy. Um, they say the dead should rest in peace. Not all dead agree. That looks uh, like it's going to be really good too, and uh, I can't wait to read it. And I got another arc uh, for part of uh, Once Upon a Twilight Tours. Um, this is Dark Eden by um, Patrick uh, Carmen, and it's really good. It deals with these um, seven um, teenagers who have seven different fears, and they're um, taken out to this um, place where uh, Fort Eden. It's like it's supposed to be an institution to help students suffer from crippling phobias, and yeah, I'm about. Uh, not that far into it, but it's really good what I've read so far, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. And I received a finished copy of Haunting Violet by Alexander Harvey in the mail um, on Saturday. And I was really surprised to uh, get this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to get a copy of it or not, and they surprised me by sending me a really big finished copy of it, and I cannot wait to dig into this. The, uh, girl on the cover, uh, reminds me of, um, Michelle Williams for some reason. She's really pretty, and I love the fact that she doesn't believe in ghosts, but they kind of believe in her. Plus, it's set in the Victorian era, era, which is another one of my favorite things. Historical and the paranormal come together, and, voila, you got an amazing read, or so I've heard. And I can't wait got a few more, um, I went ahead, they were having a really great sale, and I picked up, um, The Betrayal of Natalie Hargrove by, uh, Lauren Kate. Um, uh, this is supposed to be sort of like, uh, Cruel Intentions meets Macbeth, and thus a book is born. So, I love both of those things, and I can't wait to read and I picked up a copy of um, Blood Spell by um, Kate Bryan. I've heard mixed things about this, but I've heard that it's really good too, so I can't wait to read this. I've been wanting to read that for a while. And everybody and their dog has been talking about Rachel Vincent in this series, so I went ahead and picked up a copy of My Soul to Take, which is the first book in the Soul Screamer series. And I am excited about this, and I cannot wait to 
And I picked up Jessica Faraday's The Hollow, the first book in it. And I can't wait to read this. So, that's all I got in my mailbox this week, guys. Tell me what you got in yours. I want to know. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you've read it, tell me about it. If you liked it, didn't like it. Oh my god, I need to burn this like now. How could you buy that? Tell me that to link to your in my mailbox. Um, tell me what's up with you. I want to know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.